Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this is Labyrinth of Toho 2. So, I thought I had all the characters, but there's actually one left that we haven't picked up yet. And we can't pick her up until uh, we get 30 FOE kills. So, we're not going to worry about that for right now, because I don't have 30 FOE kills. Alright, so we're back here again. And we have the worst possible team. Let's, um... Who I want to use? And Kassen has AOE. And Biakran. So we can pretty much just do that. Alright. So... What way do we go to before? This way? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going down the path that I was going to originally. And we'll continue from there. So that means going to every closer path. Might be able to pull this off. Nope. We went through any of the paths here. Okay, so we're this is where we left off. There's that barrier there that distorts time and space and kills everybody. And we got all these guys. Uh, you guys can die. Regular attacks work pretty good. It's pretty much recommended that we don't fight that FOE over there until we after we've beaten the game. So yeah. Bastards. Big Bang Wagonizer, nice. Alright, we got quite a few options as far as where to go to next. Pass at least. Uh, Kalar's crystal, not a big deal. Uh, it's these guys again. Okay, uh, we'll go for this one over here. Which takes us to a treasure box, which we have two keys, so we'll go ahead and open it. 
Astral Domine, Toma Reincarnation times four, three magic gems, three wisdom gems. All right, uh, that was a sub equipment. Yes, it is. The highest artifact hidden in the heart of planet Guardia. The entire universe is recorded in it, an event which led to it being found and forgotten over or found or whatever over by several groups but was controversial due to the to, uh, due to its worldview changing. Plus 100 magic, plus 66 mind, MP recovery rate plus 1, and spirit in dark plus 50. That's actually a really, really good item. Essentially, yeah, it's a it's a boost to say the least. We'll go with that. Um, who wants this? Question of the day. Here, you can have the wash basin set. Sure, it'll make you faster. And you can have whatever she just unequipped, which I didn't really pay attention to. There's a Tisiphony Edge, which is actually not much of an improvement. Oh well, it gives extra speed, so I'll go with it. Alright, cool. So, takes care of that. Still faster. Not the cleanest way of killing, but it works. Alright, so... Let's go for this one next. Which actually takes us back here, which we've already been to, so that's convenient. This also takes us to some place we've been to already. Okay, cool, so let's backtrack. From here, head down to that spot over there. I think. Yep, new area. Okay. Those are materials. All right, we need to deal with you. Way 
hit a miss. Alright. Walking and right fruits, huh? All right. Okay. Almost done with this section. That's good. Running out of MP though. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Castings out of juice. Let's swap in Percy, I guess. Actually, we can do Kogosa. Okay, so go for the closest path first, which is this one. Flavor Pain. Path there, and that's it. Oh, it was one way. Which brought me back to here. Okay. So, if I head down here, I should be back on track. Okay, now we gotta take the other path. Right here.
Yay, a drum. Just getting back some MP. It's a useful little trick so you don't have to spend time resting or anything. I think get it up five. I think I might be better off having Mobiji in the front just so we get the bonus to hit chance. Or bonus to accuracy, rather. Running out of juice. Um, is that everything? It looks like it. And from here we have multiple paths, so we'll start with this one. Which it took us to. That path was one way. Main equipment: primal armor. Barrier that is created via sustained flow of Kojima particles. Its defensive ability is excellent and can stop most attacks from ACs. It's and it's something was shocking to see the previous work's protagonist ACs become so useless. Uh, that drops your MP, but it increases your base defense in mind. So this is actually something. Each can take. Since I don't use her for physical attacks. Alright, where's this gonna take us? We're back at the beginning. Yay. We'll see if we can go a little bit further, but it's probably not going to happen. Thank you. 
Uh, we just took a one way. That's good. At least we got that taken care of. Special item, Diva's Proof. Ah! We just got ourselves the, um, another subclass. Oh wow, I actually killed the, the blob with the uh, pain flow. That's, a, that's new. Alright. Now we're back here? Yes we are. Okay then. There, we need to go to that route down there. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So they, yeah, they drain your MP and then immediately get an attack. Okay, so we went to one of the nearby paths. I don't remember which, though. Oh, I think it was the bottom one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the bottom one. So let's go through the top one here. One way again. I have much left now. Divine barrier. Always good to have. Who's using Divine Barrier? You are. Well, unless I want to start losing my debuff resistance, I don't have very many options, unfortunately. Basin set, awesome. And we're back to the beginning. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and head back then. Here, you can have a wash basin set.
Yeah, not really much I can work with, unfortunately. That's fine. Alright, well, let's go ahead and level everyone up. Got a bunch of special items to use. Um, I started giving my magic gems to Biakra, and so she has more MP, so I'll go ahead and keep doing that. Finally maxed out Hina's magic. I guess I can give the rest to Nazarin now. See you that or Atsuo. Eh, we'll go Nazarin. She is magic, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go take a look at the subclasses. Now got the Diva. This subclass excels at aiding the party outside of battle. It possesses skills that reduce encounter rate in dungeons and increases experience obtained from battles. There's more to it than just that though. So yeah, we got Diva Mastery, which gives you HP, stamina, speed, and accuracy. Song of Delight, that increases your the amount of experience you get. Um, but it only works if you're in the front line. Excuse me, it doesn't stack with multiple divas. Um, lowers the rate of which the encounter rate counter increases by up to 3%, looks like. This effect stacks with other similar skills, but will cap at a maximum of 75% of reduction. Oh. Okay, whatever. Uh, Melody of Fortune, there's a 20% chance that using a spell will not consume MP. So this is another class that can give you the ability to not consume MP. Um, Rhythmic Dance, a spell that increases the ATB bar of all allies and enemies. And then Dance of the Cochlea, which reduces the ATB bar of all allies and enemies. So, in combat, their special ability is the ability to manipulate the ATB bar. Uh, for the most part, you probably aren't going to be messing with it much. I don't. It's a gimmick I don't really completely understand, so I'm not going to be using it. So, we've gotten... Um, almost every subclass in the game now, we're missing one, which we are not going to get until like floor 18. And it's actually a pretty good one. So, is there anything else I need to note? I create anything new. Nope, same things. Sell some stuff to sell. Also, I keep getting those leather jackets. Where are those at? Oh, it's over here. Reinforce leather armor. Okay. Not a big deal. So, we've made some progress. I think we're almost through with that floor, which would be nice. Anyway, I am the Depressed Dior. This is Labyrinth of Two. See you guys later.